والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله واصحابه ومن والاه Nam, sorry about that. <clears throat> this hadith where we just read the beginning of it yesterday. Or we just read the hadith itself. A hadith of Sabi An Abi Rukayata Tamimi Bini Ausin Adari Radiallahu Ainhu An Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Akal Adinu Nasiha the religion is advice or sincere advice or it might be better to just leave it as nasiha because each because as we'll see they said qulna we said liman to who qala lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa li a'imat al-muslimin wa ammatihim to Allah and to his book and to his messenger and to the leaders of the Muslims and to their general people, to the common people amongst them. And this hadith was in Sahih Muslim. Now, why did I say nasiha? Because a lot of times it's translated as sincere advice, but the confusion comes how do I give sincere advice to Allah? If the religion is sincere advice, li men to who? Right? Lilla. How do I give sincere advice to Allah? You know? Or how do I give sincere advice, li kitabihi, to his book? So it doesn't necessarily mean advice. So let us look at it, inshallah ta'ala, from just the word nasiha, and then inshallah ta'ala we'll just use the word nasiha and it might make it a little clearer and easier for us to understand. So Shaykh Abdul Musan al Qasim, he says, Adinu nasiha, Adin an nasiha. The religion is nasiha. Wa fi lovedin. Thalathan. Fi lovthin. Thalathan. Meaning, he said this three times. Ad-dinu nasiha. Ad-dinu nasiha. Ad-dinu nasiha. Qulna li man ya Rasulullah. Qala lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa li aymat al-muslimi wa ammatihim. So he said it three times. This is what this means. Wa fi lovthin. Love is a wording. Another word, who could tell me how else they might feel that you could say this? Fi love then. We've had something similar to this before. You could say it in a different way. Can't say. Left in the left in. <clears throat> or be left in this what you talking about or the whole thing be left in the yeah, left love then or not not the last thing, but be love then we had another phrase before will be rewire will be rewire meaning and in another narration, right? And in another narration, a riwaya being a narration like Rawahu Muslim, right? Okay. So, fi riwaya. Well, fi love then, and in a narration, and in another, another narration, even the word another isn't there, we mean in another narration, there is another wording, right? In another wording, it said, thalatha. Hadith Wait a minute, you confused me there, man. What? You saying how can we say, because this saying, 
Well, if he loved them, uh, in, in a wording, in, a, in, in another wording of this hadith, well, if he rewire, in another narration of this hadith, I'm just trying to get you to, to use your minds. Love then means wording, rewire means narration, another, another hadith, another narration of this hadith, right? Three times. He said it three times. He said, Ad-Dinun Nasiha. Ad-Dinun. In one narration, it says the Prophet ﷺ said, Ad-Dinun Nasiha. Qulna liman ya Rasulullah. Qala lillahi wa li hakada. And in, and, in, and in another narration, it says, Qala Nabiyu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ad-Dinu Nasiha, Ad-Dinu Nasiha, Ad-Dinu Nasiha, Qulna liman ya Rasulullah. Oh, okay. I see now. I was thinking you were talking about the whole hadith, what he just saying, uh, Ad-Dinu ad Nasiha. Say yeah, that yeah. three times. I mean, I read it like that before. Okay. Earlier okay. in the class, I read it like, like that. Yeah, I, I got confused. Okay. Had al hadithu min usul al din. Min usul al din. This hadith is from the principles of the religion. Right. A. An nasihatu. Aslan. It is a principle, min, usul al Islam, from the principles of Islam. Wa hada, mimma. Man, I wish I could write a shadd so bad. Mimma, a small one though, not a big one like that. Hada mimma, which is a con contraction from min. Plus ma. Hada mimma. This is from what? Right? Yatta mayyazu. Yatta mayyazu. Bihi al Islam. This is what? From what? Yatta mayyazu. Bihi al Islam. That, that Islam is the fa'il. Yatta mayyazu. Bihi. Yatamayazu, we had this word before from Mim Yaze, meaning to distinguish. Like the word Tamyiz. Right? Yatamayazu. That Islam is distinguished with this. Right? An Ghairihi Minal. And you'd put a fatta there for reading purposes. Minal Adyan. Adyan is the plural of deen right the plural of deen wa hadha mimma yatamayyazu bihi al-islam an ghayrihi min al-adyan and this is from what islam is distinguished with it from other religions fa nushu 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 from the word nasiha fil Islam right for nushu fil Islam likulli ahadin it's for everyone right it's for Everyone, the kulli ahad is for every wahid, every one. One second, no, it's for everyone. Min sagirin ila kabirin, from the young until the little. From the young, or from the young until the old. Oh. Old, I said yes. From the from the young small until the to big. old. Huh? Small to, so small to big or great, uh, but they, they just use this young and old. Yeah, you 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 don't say. Uh, you know, you, this is the word for young and old here. You know, the, in the context. In the context, it's not, uh, you 
can't use it as 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 small and big, right? But so if you just said to say like the old man or the young boy, you would say Sagirin. Sagirin Kabir uh, now. Yeah. Right. Right. But it doesn't mean, for instance, the old man as Kabir, he could be real short. He could be real skinny and small, but he's still Kabir. Because it's about okay, his age then, and not his size. But then it could be about his size. Right. And then he said the Sagir, no Sagir and man, you know, the old man. Right. But this here is talking about age. It's not talking about size. Yeah. Right. So, Amma fi ghayr al-Islam. Amma, as for, fi ghayr al-Islam, in other than Islam, faqad la yasillu, la yasillu, or la yasillu, asaf, la yasillu, ahadun, إلى الكبير فقد this قد here is a توقع like possible like it's possible right لا يصل أحد إلى الكبير لا يصل يصل from وصلة meaning to reach or to connect أحد إلى الكبير meaning it's possible that someone's not able to reach to the older person, meaning he's not able to go to him and give him advice because he's old, right? For instance, you can't go to the priest necessarily and advise him. That's what he's trying to say. You can't go to the old person and give them advice. Like that would be I for you to do so, right? That would be wrong or not permissible. He said, in Islam, هذا من ما يتميز به الإسلام عن غيره من الأديان. This is what distinguishes it, distinguishes Islam from other religions. فالنصح, and I didn't say نصح is basically just kind of like a synonym for نصيحة, right? Similar meaning, right? Both of them meaning advice or counsel, like this. فَالنُصْحُ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ So the advice in Islam لِكُلِّ أَحَدْ is for everyone. مِنْ صَغِيرِ إِلَى الْكَبِيرِ From the small, from the young until the old. أَمَّا فِي غَيْرِ الْإِسْلَامِ As for an other than Islam فَقَدْ لَا يَصِلُ أَحَدٌ إِلَى الْكَبِيرِ Then it's possible that no one is able to approach, basically, يَصِلُ To connect or to reach or to approach the older person فَيُظْهَرُ فَيُظْهَرُ يُظْهَرُ so مَا فِي قَلْبِهِ فَيُظْهَرُ مَا فِي قَلْبِهِ so it becomes apparent, yudharu, basically, or he manifests what's in his heart. Fayudharu ma fi kalbihi. He manifests what's in his heart. Mimma yuriduhu. Yuriduhu. Mimma yuriduhu from what he wants. Yuriduhu. Who can remember what the root for yurid is? Uh, Rod, R-D. The root, the look it up. Yeah, R-D. Ra-ya-dal. Mm. You, have you looked it up before? Suhaib and Ra-ya-dal? No, mm. never. No, Ra-wa-dal. Mm. The reason I say this is because I was talking to some brothers one time, even some brothers who, because this is one of the first verbs maybe that we learn when learning Arabic, uridu, uridu ma, right? 
Uridu ta'am. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uridu and anam. You learn this verb very early on. I want, I want, I want. And so I was talking to some brothers and they were even in universities like um, uh, Muhammad ibn Saud. And I was like, man, what's the root for arada, man? What's the root? What letters are its root word? Root letters. You know, arada uridu. And nobody knew it. You know, and it was strange because I, I didn't know it at that time either. We had to look it up, you know, because it is a form for root, you know. So anyway, it's just interesting that we need to remember that. Ra wow dal. Mimma yuriduhu min nushin. So, yudharu ma fi qalbihi mimma yuriduhu min nushin. He manifests what is in his heart from what he wants, basically, to advise, to advise, min nushin, to advise with, from counseling and this, he, he manifests it. Fi turuqat. Turuqat, the plural of tariqa, basically, right? Even though the word is, uh, could be just turuq, it's another plural, turuqat. Fi turuqat wa fi shi'arat wa ghayri dhalik. Shi'arat is shi'arat is like advertising and stuff, right? But it's not advertising, but it's like I'm trying to figure out the word here. Shi'arat is like to announce it out loud, right? To to uh, to make up, like almost maybe like uh, protests and stuff like that, right? Where someone stands out and they uh, have mottos and and they have phrases and they you know they do stuff like this, almost like protests, even though the word protest is different, right? So, الذي لا لا يصل إلى الكبير, the one who he's not able to go to the older person advise him. فيظهر ما في قلبه مما يريده من نصح في طرقات وفي شعارات وغير ذلك. So the one who wants to approach him but he can't, then he manifests what's in his heart from what he wants to say from advice or counseling. In the pathways and and in the with signs and mottos, right? Proclaim that I mean it has that, but it, shiarat is a noun and proclaim is a verb. So I don't know. Like in maybe with context, the, the the point is not for us to be able to translate it into a smooth sentence right now. The point for us is to understand what he's saying, right? فَيُظْهَرُ مَا فِي قَلْبِهِ مِمَّا يُرِيدُهُ مِن نُصْحٍ وَفِي تُرُقَاتِ وَفِي شِعَارَاتِ وَغَيْرِ ذَلِكِ So he manifests what's in his heart from advice, what he wants to say of advice, from, or in the pathways, and in, uh, with mottos and, and slogans and like this, and other than that. الإسلام الإسلام إذا عندنا نصحا If there's with us an advice Right? We have something with us A نصح Some counseling or advice that we have تذهبوا تذهبوا للكبير You go to the big One second Somebody just sent me an emergency message Stop. What is this? تذهبوا للكبير You go to the old person Right? وتذهبوا للصغير You go to the young person Right? تنصحه تنصحه You advise him No problem
لِذَلِكَ قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ So due to that, he, صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ said, الدِّينُ النَّصِيحَ الدِّينُ النَّصِيحَ The religion is nasiha. الألف الألف واللام للعموم الألف واللام للعموم نعم الألف واللام للعموم meaning this right here ألف لام inside of النسيحة or inside of the deen right either one of them can be taken as umum what does that mean it means that if i were to say for example uh i'm trying to think of a word without it here i'm trying to see it uh Um, the word without the alif lamb. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to see where it is. With with, I'm trying to give an advice. I'm trying to see a word in my head without it. Anyway, if you don't have the alif lamb, for instance, uh, 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 there are <coughs> there's, 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 Go ahead. Hadith. Oh, I, I understand that, but I'm trying to think of a word in a, in a context that I can I can tell you. You say hadith, like for instance, okay. <clears throat> Adrusu. That's fine. I'll use that word. Adrusu hadith. Adrusu hadithan. I'm studying a hadith. Right? This without the alif lam, without the alif lam means I'm studying a hadith, the word a. Mm -hmm. Right? Whereas if I'm say I'm studying, and I have to remove the, the, the alif at the end, al hadith, adrusu al hadith, then this means I'm studying basically. The hadith in general, not a specific hadith, because if I say adrusu hadithen, it means I'm studying a specific hadith, even though I may not know, the listener may not know which hadith it is. But you, when you say I'm studying a hadith, you mean a specific hadith. And if you say, no, I have to research a hadith, even though you may not know right now which hadith it is, it's still a specific hadith. It's going to end up being a specific hadith. Whereas if you put the alif lam on there, then it means I'm studying the hadith in general. All of them. Right? Of course, we know not all of them necessarily, but it means in general I'm studying that body of hadith. Nothing is going to be excluded from it. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm not able to accomplish all of it, but in general, I'm studying the entire body of hadith. So this alif lam, it, it comes with uh, 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 a generality. Alif lam lil umum. That's what he says here, the alif lam for generality. <coughs> but that's... That's so. That's just really like the Arabic language, right? That's the Arabic language, but it's a science that okay. you have to understand. For I'm trying to think of an ayat or something because I know it comes up all the time in class and stuff, and it's just just not uh, 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 coming to to my mind right now. But this is a, a principle that when there that you can look at something and see when it, it's ma'rifa or nakira, when it has alif lam or doesn't have alif lam, when it's definite or indefinite. Then it has an effect on the meaning of the the uh, uh, <clears throat> the the context there, and it has mm. rules in fiqh. 
what does it mean but it didn't have alif lam here and it does have alif lam here so i'm trying to, i was trying to think of one but it, it's escaping my mind right now you know but that but when reading ayat and stuff like this then it has a it has a uh it has an effect on it this alif lam here and we'll read what he says here lil umum yani adin kulluhu mabnahu ala nasihati adinu kulluhu mabnahu ala nasihati the religion all of it mabnahu meaning basically it's built upon or its foundation is upon nasiha right all of the religion all of the religion meaning nasiha affects all of the religion not just parts of it this alif lam here shows that it means all of the religion go ahead the nasiha t but Allah makes the word of fatha, right? But since it's a... No. Allah is harf jar, makes it majroor. Mm -hmm. Allah is harf jar, like min and fi and all of that. Okay. Uh, is it the same al that we have in alhamdu? Yes. There you go. Jazakallah khairan. Alhamdulillah. Even though this isn't Lil Amum, this is called Lil Istigraq, but it's basically the same, so we could use it just for context purposes. But it's not exactly the same. But Alhamdu means all praises due to Allah. Right? All praise. It doesn't say all praise. It doesn't say Alhamdu Kulluhu Lillah. It just says Alhamdu. But the fact that Alhamd, that Al here means any type of praise that you give. Whether you give it or you don't give it, if it's deserving, it goes to Allah. Even, and the scholars say on this, alhamdu, that even if you give it to a person, for instance, a person does something and he, and he deserves praise for it, right? He deserves hamd, right? He deserves praise for that thing. Then, actually Allah deserves praise for that thing because he's the one who created that in that person. That desire that that he deserves to be created for it. So while that person did something that deserves praise, Allah deserves praise for creating it in him. Right? So all praise is for Allah. Right? It's the Grok. They're a little bit different, but basically for our purposes here, Jazakallah Khaira. Allah Ya Abdullah is from the Huruf Ujar. Min wa ila wa ayn wa ala wa fi wa ruba wa ba wa kaf wa la. No. And nasiha is not mebni or memnu minasarf. It's not memnu minasarf. It is. Yeah. You could say nasihatun, nasihaten, nasihatin. No. It's not a name. It's not a proper name. Fala nastati'u nastati'u isn't what khusus? So, I mean, the only flam, I think, isn't it particularizing? It's not generalizing. No, this is general. It says umum. It says umum here. It doesn't say khusus. It says umum. <coughs> Adin and nasiha. All of the religion is nasiha. Where do you get that from? He's going to explain it, but just so you can see it, it reaches. It reaches to Allah It reaches to his book It reaches to his messenger It reaches to the leaders of the Muslims And to the common folks amongst the Muslims So all of the religion That's all of our religion Allah, his book, his messenger, the leaders And the people What else is there in our religion? Right. All of the religion is Nasiha Umum, not Khusus الدين كله مبناه على النسيحة فلا نستطيع so we are not able to أن ننشر أن ننشر الدين 
We're not able to spread. Nanshur. Nashar. Nashar is like to spread. To propagate. A deen. We're not able to propagate the deen. Illa bin nasihati. Except with nasiha. Right? And here, this word is not what he said here. He did not say yamliku. He said yasluku. So I don't know why. In fact, I'm going to do something a little different. Give me one second. <coughs> I don't know why. Yes. Yes, Luku. What's that? Yes, Luku. I'm going to write it in there. Yes, Luku. But I'm going to write it with. I'm going to write it over there. Yes, if I can. Yes, Luku. Right? From Sin Lam Ka. Meaning to travel, to traverse. Right? Wala yes, Luku Nas. Nasu. Adin, meaning no one travels or sticks to the path of the religion, illa bin nasiha, except with nasiha. Any questions? Bin nasiha. And up here, he didn't say. Either. Let me go back here and fix it. I was looking at here and I wasn't looking at my book. He didn't say either here. He said la. As if there was a comma. Right? He said. Al Islam, for instance. He said. Fayudharu ma fi qalbihi mima yuriduhu min nushin fi turuqat. He says, so the one who has something, he's not able to approach the older person, then he manifests what's in himself from advice, right? What's in his heart from advice in the streets and in the, you know, he's not able to go to him. So he runs around spreading news and spreading gossip and making protests and so on and so forth because he can't reach the Kabir. He can't go to the Pope and talk to the Pope himself. The Pope is in a, in a, Glass box, right? No one can reach him. As an example, Al Islam la. Al Islam la. It's not like that. And then nus. You have an advice. We have an advice. We have a, a advice. Tadhabu lil kabir. Go to the older person. But tadhabu lil sagir. And go to the younger person. No problem. So he said la there, but. What was written made sense, <clears throat> but uh, down here, la yam luku, he said la yas luku. Adin, la yas luku nas, the people do not travel or, or follow and, and follow the path of the religion, illa bin nasiha. Wa hadha al hadithu yan qasimu, yan qasimu. Ilal ila qismain. This hadith is divided into no problem. Divided into two parts. Yan qasam is from qaf seen meme. It could be uh, uh, sections or divisions like this, right? is divided into two divisions it's sectioned up into two sections however you want to you know is divided into two sections you could use the two different words for the same thing because it's the same thing yan qasimu ila qismain right qisman became qismain after ila because it's majroor right qismun or qismu nushi Al Mar'i. It's Mar'i. The section. Nushi. Nushi. Kismu Nushi. Kismu Nushi. Al Mar'i. Li Nafsihi. The section 
of the advice of a man, basically, or a person, even though because it could refer to a woman as well. The section, the division, the section of the advice of a person for himself, li nafsihi, to himself, li nafsihi. Basically, he's advising himself. Be islahihi, be islahiha, asif, be islah. He had with its rectification. Kismu nushi. That's mudaf mudaf ilay. Nushi al mar'i mudaf mudaf ilay. The section of the advice of the person li nafsihi to himself. Bi islahi ha with its correction or rectification. Nafs is feminine. Right? Even though it does not look feminine, noon fa seen, it is a feminine word. Well kismu athani and the second section Islahu Zairihi Rectifying other than him. So rectifying himself and rectifying other than him. Fayajibu Yajibu Ala Kulli Muslimin and Yasluhu and Yasluha after an Asif and Yasluha Awalan Nafsahu. So it is obligatory upon every Muslim, Fayajibu Ala Kulli Muslimin. And yes, Luha Awalan Nafsahu, that he rectify first himself. Thumma Bada Dharika, Thumma Bada Dharika, Yen Fa'u, Yen Fa'u, Zairahu. He benefits other than himself. Then, other, then after that, he benefits other than himself. وَهَذَا مَذْكُورٌ From the root ذَا كَافْرَ Right? ذِكْر هَذَا مَذْكُورٌ This is mentioned. This is, the مف... this is on the scale of مَفْعُول That doesn't mean مَفْعُولُ بِهِ It's on the scale of مَفْعُول مَذْكُور This is mentioned. Right? فِي Quran. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُزَمِّلْ كُمِ اللَّيْلَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا He says, يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُزَمِّلْ Muzammil is like mudathir, one who is wrapped up in something, right? He's wrapped up in the garments or, or, or uh, uh, blankets, like that, right? يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُزَمِّلْ uh, Kum illayla illa qalila. Kum is with a sukun on it. Right? It's a command. Kum. Stand. Stand. Alayla. But because alayla, this has a sukun on the first lamb too, and we put that kasu there for reading purposes. Kum illayla. Stand what? The night. Stand the night, meaning in salat. Illa Kalila, except a little bit. Stand the night, except a little bit. Right? Hada Islah Nafs. Hada Islah Nafsi. This is rectification of the self. Right? Nisfahu Awankus. Minhu Kalila. Nisfuhu meaning half of it. Nisf is half. Nisfa, right? Because it's an adjective of a layer. So it's mensub like a layer. Right? Nisfahu, half of it. O wenkus. O is or. Unkus. This is a. Command verb from noon, cough, sod. What does that word mean? 
نون قاف صاد الإيمان يزيد وينقص It increases and it decreases أو ينقص meaning or decrease منه قليلا or take a little bit away from that so stand the night basically all of it this would be another example of alif lam right it says stand the night meaning the whole night the alif lam is showing the whole night that part of it right stand the whole night illa qalila right Nisfahu awinqus minhu qalila. Half of it or decrease from it a little bit. Right? Aw zid. Here, zid is an, inc an increase from yazid. Al iman yazid wa yanqus. It increases and decreases. Aw zid or increase alayhi. Or increase upon it. And recite the Quran in a melodious fashion. Inna Sanulki Aleika Kaulin Thaqila. Inna we are indeed we Sanulki. We're going to basically send down to you alayka we're going to make you responsible for qawlan thaqila for what a heavy word right then he says litabligh nas the sheikh he says in the next here li tabligh nas to command the people so the first part of the ayah, right? Stand the night, except a little bit in salat. This is for this is for the person himself. Whereas the rest of it, or the last ayah of it, rather, we're going to send down to you a weighty word. Then this is for other than him. So you stand for yourself. Half of it, less than that, more than that. Recite the Quran. Indeed, we're going to send down to you a weighty word. This is for other than you. So, هذا الحديث ينقسم إلى قسمين. قسم نصح المرء لنفسه بإصلاحها. The sec, the section or the division of the advice of a man or a person for himself. With its rectification. And the second section is advising other than him. Or rectifying other than him. So it's obligatory upon every Muslim to correct first himself. Then after that he will rectify or benefit other than him. وَهَذَا مَذْكُورْ فِي الْقُرْآنِ And this is mentioned in the Qur'an. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ The glorified as he said, يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُزَمِّلْ قُمِ اللَّيْلَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا O oh, you wrapped in garments, stand at night except a little bit. هَذَا إِسْلَاحُ النَّفْسِ This is the rectification of the self. نِصْفَهُ Half of it. أَوْنْقُسْ Or decrease minhu qalila from it a little bit wazid alayhi or add to it waratta lil qur'ana tortila and recite the qur'an in a melodious slow melodious voice in nas nulqi alayka qawlin thaqila we're going to send down to you a weighty word a heavy word thaqil like Thaqilatan fil mizan, right? Heavy on the scales. Litabligin nas. This is for the, this is for the conveying. Tablig from balaga, right? Balaga. Balaga means to reach. Balaga, 
Urshada means to make something reach. So tablig is to take something to someone because you're making that thing reach them. Right? This is this is conveying to the people, right? Taking the message to the people. So that's the Qismain. One for himself and one for others. Any questions? <laughs> You said no, or you said something? Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to ask. That illa, doesn't it mean even if? Is it only accept? What are you talking about? The kumil leila illa kulila. No, it's, it's accept. A little bit. I mean, if you look in the Noble Quran, it says, Qum layla illa qalila, stand to pray all night except a little. Inside the Noble Quran, it says, accept. Yes, it's Allah. Oh, yeah. Yalla, ya suhay, ikra lana. الحديث السابع عن أبي رقية سمير بن عوس الداري رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدين النصيحة قلنا لمن قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله ولأئمة المسلمين وعامتهم الدين النصيحة في لفظ ثلاثا هذا الحديث من من أصول الدين أي النصيحة أصل من أصول الإسلام وهذا مما يتميز به الإسلام عن غيره من الأديان فالنصح في الإسلام لكل أحد من من صغير إلى كبير أما في غير الإسلام فقد لا يصل أحد إلى الكبير فيظهر ما في قلبه مما يريده من نصح في الطرقات وفي, شع... وفي الشعارات وغير ذلك الإسلام لا عندنا نصح تذهب للكبير وتذهب للصغير تنصحه لذلك قال صلى الله عليه وسلم الدين النصيحة الألف واللام للعموم يعني الدين كله مبناه على النصيحة فلا تستطيع أن تنشر الدين إلا بالنصيحة ولا يسلك الناس الدين إلا بالنصيحة وهذا الحديث ينقسم إلى قسمين إلى قسمين قسم, قسم نصح المرء لنفسه بإصلاحها والقسم الثاني إصلاح غيره فيجب على كل مسلم أن يصلح أولا نفسه ثم بعد ذلك ينفع غيره وهذا مذكور في القرآن قال سبحانه يا أيها المزمل قم الليل إلا قليلا هذا إصلاح النفس نصفه أو انقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا لتبليغ الناس الله يبارك فيك يا عبد الله عن أبي وقية تميه ابن أص الداري رضي الله أن أن النبي قال الله أن 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 النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدين الدين صحيح نصيحة نصيحة الدين النصيحة قلنا لمن قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله ولأئمة المسلمين وآمته أمامتهم الدين النصيحة وفيه 
لفت ثلاثا هذا الحديث من أصول أصول الدين أي النصيحة أصل من أصول أصول الإسلام وهذا مما يتميز به الإسلام أن غيره من من الأتيان فنصح في الإسلام لكل أحد من صغير إلا كبير أما في غير في غير غير الإسلام فقد لا يصل أحد إلا الكبير فيفهر ما في قلبه مما يريده من نفح في التويقات وفي الشعارات وغير ذلك ال إسلام إثنى إسلام لا إننا نصح تذهب للخبير وتذهب للصغير تنسهه تنسهه لذلك قال الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدين النصيحة ال ألف واللام للأمور يعني الدين كله كله مبناه على النصيحة فلا نستطيع أن ننشر الدين إلا بن نصيحة ولا يسلك 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 الناس الدين إلا بن نصيحة وهذا الحديث ينقسم إلى كسمين كسم نصح نصح الماء لنفسه بإصلاحها والكسم الثاني إصلاح غيره فيجب ألا كل ألا كل مسلم أن يصلح أولا نفسه ثم بعد ذلك ينفع غيره وهذا مذكور في القرآن قال الله سبحانه يا أيها المزمل ثم الليلة إلا قليلة هذا إصلاح إصلاح النفس نصفه أو كس منه قليلا قليلا أو رد عليه ورد للقرآن تعطيلا إن سبولك عليك قولا فقيلا لتقلي جنس نعم جزاكم الله خير نعم بسمية أنا أعطي رقية تميم بني أوسن دا أوسن دا أوسن داري رضي الله عنه 
رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدين النسية نسيحة كنا لمن قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله ولأهمة المسلمين وحماته الدين النسية وفي لفظ وفي لفظ ثلاثة هذا الحديث من أصول الدين أي النسيحة أصل من أصول الإسلام وهذا مما يتميز به الإسلام عن غيره من 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 الأديان فالنسخ في الإسلام لكل أحد من صغور إلى كبير أما في غير الإسلام فقد لا يصل أحدا إلا الكبير فيظهر ما في قلبه مما يريد من نصح من نصح في 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 طرقات وفي في طرقات وفي شع في وفي شعارات وغير ذلك الإسلام لا الإسلام لا عندما نصح تذهب الكبير وتذهب للصغير أنصاره لذلك قال قال سبحانه وتعالى قال صلى الله عليه وسلم الدين النصيحة الألف واللام الحموم حموم يحمي واللام الأموم الألف واللام الأموم يعني الدين كله مبناه مبناه على النصيحة فلا نست فلا نستطيع أن أن ننشر أن ننشر الدين إلا بنصيحته ولا ولا يسلك الناس الدين إلا بنصيحة وهذا الحديث ينقسم إلى قسمين قسم نصيح المرء لنفسه بإصلاحها القسم الثاني إصلاح غير إصلاح غيره فيجب على كل مسلم أن يصلح أن يصلح أولا أو أولا نفسه ثم بعد ذلك ينفع غير غيره وهذا مذكور في القرآن قال سبحانه يا أيها المذمل قم الليل إلا قليلا هذا إصلاح النفس نصفا ومنقسم وقليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إنا سنلكي عليك قولا ثكيلا لتبليغ الناس لتبليغ الناس لتبليغ الناس نعم I'm looking in tafsir and I found Sa'di Ibn Kathir and Al-Qasimi all of them said إِلَّا قَلِيلًا means that it's obligatory for him to take a rest meaning it's a it's basically a prohibition for him to stand the whole night so the meaning is except a little bit meaning you have to take a rest not to stand the whole night not to pray the whole night but to take a rest right so i don't know where you read even if a little bit i don't I, or even a little bit i don't know where you might have read that from it's possible that someone has that tough seer but 
like I said, all the ones I've looked at so far, they say that it's obligatory upon him to uh, uh, take a rest. And that's what the meaning of Ila Kalila means. Inshallah Ta'ala. That's an hour we've been in class. We only got a little bit left on the next page, but then it just enters into the eighth hadith, inshallah ta'ala, and it's pretty short. So maybe we'll be able to finish. I don't know. Yom uh, Sabt, Ya Suhaib. Do you have a long time? I mean, are you on the same schedule, Yom Sabt, or, you, or is it like a weekend for you? Mm, I have time. Bye, inshallah. We'll see what we can do, inshallah ta'ala. Yom Sabt. Come prepared, Ya Akhwan. Barakallahu Fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.